you will see Irish people, English people, German people, people from different uh, countries, they are well presented here. Other African people that are not necessarily Nigerians, Nigerians that are not necessarily Igbos. You know, so when you talk about integration, it's, it's a comparison. So if you look at the event, everybody is actually represented. So it helps us not only to sell our culture, not only to show that we inherited some culture from our uh, 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 forefathers, but it also helps us you know, to reach out to people, to be proud of being identified you know, with our culture. We are highly proud. And it does, in all ramifications, uh, help to integrate. My name is Chima Oji, and I'm the chairman of the Igbo Union Island Cork Chapter. I do know that the, set, the New Year celebration is meant to foster integration and unity between among the Igbos and Nigerians in general. Mm -hmm. Do you think that is happening with, with yeah. using this medium? You see, wherever you have a cultural display, I think what goes on is a cultural exchange. And when you have cultural exchanges like this, where people come and see, you, you will now see the similarities between this celebration and maybe a celebration in your own culture. And it fosters integration and oneness, which is all what we are looking up to you know, in this new world.
the ambassador could not resist the urge to join her countrymen and women on the dancing floor. viewers, I'm here with uh, Senator Ben Obi, and I understand that this very celebration is meant to unite Nigerians and the Igbo people in particular. So what would you, what message would you send out to people who are not here, the Igbos in particular and Nigerians as a whole? You noticed in the course of the event that the representatives of the Yoruba community, the Northern community were called upon. But they didn't Nigeria. call the Edo people, though. Well, <laughs> unfortunately, that was not so. But yeah, it, it was, was, you know, it's the population that yeah, yeah. down. See, so what I'm trying to say is that there is that understanding. Yeah. You know, and it is there. It is leave it, and uh, we can all just but wish that they continue in that in that uh, manner and make sure that they relate to all of our brothers and sisters out here. I mean, it's not only Igbos, Yorubas, or houses, all the other tribes, you know, whenever, no matter how little they are, they should join hands together and participate together in whatever they are doing. Yeah. That is the way to promote the greatness of our country. Yeah. Tell me one of the importance of the roasted yam. Yam in general, in Igbo land, is a very important dish because we make so many things with it. Uh, with it. Like for nursing mothers in Igbo land, uh, when a woman gives birth, she has to give, she has to be given what they call GIY is pepper soup made pepper soup made with yam, and uh, you have what they call insala and inriji. Uh, the insala and inriji, any woman that gives birth in Igbo land and is not giving that is not happy because that is what they say. Congratulations. Yeah, like okay. yeah. Not only the yam, there are some spices that are added into the yam that made it nourishing for the for um, a nursing mother that help you kind of. Um, Take away the clean you up, it cleans you up, cleans you, it yeah. cleans you up. Yeah, okay. exactly. I think when you see anybody that marry you, but anytime you give birth, you'll be expecting the yeah, the it's a kind of a special gift. Ibokwenu, yeah, Ibokwenu, yeah, Ibokwenu, yeah, Ibokwenu. On that note, we've come to the end of the show. We've dined, we've danced, we've made friends. You can see there were more than 14 dishes made out of yam. And the cultural display was fantastic. It was wonderful. In fact, I can't even describe it. And then you have different colors of people, diverse. You know, you know this, this was a celebration of diversity at its best. So what can I say? It's just to say we have come to the end of the show. Yeah. Well, viewers, that was the end of the New Year celebration in Cork. Now we are back to the Pearl Show studio. And we are back with Tendai Mandondo. Tendai, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy the show? It was absolutely brilliant, All yes. Right. Okay. And now, back to the issue of Pearl Show and 2008. Would you believe that we are now eventually at the end of 2008 and this is the end, the last program for Pearl Show? It's absolutely amazing how time flies. Just mm -hmm. only in January 2008, we were talking about Parrot Show, Miss Nigeria Island. We were talking about Africa Day on the 25th of May. We were talking about many, many, many events um, during the year. And I have to say, 2008 was very eventful for Parrot mm -hmm. Show. Yeah. And well done to you. And tell me two of your, your most interesting uh, programs on Parrot Show. Yeah, you know yourself, the 
program that I presented on, which was Men Against, Men against domestic, domestic Violence, violence. which was meant to mark Africa Day. Mm -hmm. And um, there was huge response, you know, to that. And um, mm -hmm. there was huge discussion in relation to the impact of domestic violence, particularly on children. Another amazing event would have been the Miss Nigeria Island. It was absolutely phenomenal in terms of attendance and the impact and the women yeah. there were absolutely gorgeous and they were very great. elegant and yeah. uh, I'm actually looking forward to um, another Miss Nigeria Island next year yeah, 2009. Yeah. Tell me about uh, yourself now. I know you'll be contesting for the uh, county council election in 2009. You'll be representing the Tala, is it the Tala South now? Tala South, absolutely. Yeah, 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 Exciting Tala times South. ahead. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm very happy to be representing my own constituency mm -hmm. and standing up for the issues that they do believe in. And, mm. um, you know, it's going to be really exciting in 2009. Yeah. The elections are in actually June. All right, Don't in June. Don't forget that. Okay, Have okay. you registered to vote? Yeah, I'm registered. I'm registered. Um, tell me, uh, what's the response from the locals? You know, It has been really mixed. Um, largely, people are very excited about a migrant woman coming out mm. representing the local communities. So, mm. yeah, the response has been very good with the support of Parrot Show and, yeah. um, you know, many other community NGOs supporting us. Yeah. So, you, want to you know, this is Christmas time, and the spirit of Christmas is going all over the world and over everybody. So if you were to send out a special message now to Zimbabweans and people watching the program, what will you be telling them, looking at it from the point of view of Christmas? Unfortunately, not many Zimbabweans in country are celebrating Christmas is, is in, a, in a privileged way as much as we are doing here. So my heart goes out to them, um, and I want to appeal to people out there that continue to support Zimbabweans by supporting the NGOs that are working with people on the ground to bring them water, food and blankets and everything else. And I want to also call on the Sadiq countries and um, I've African Union countries to continue to use the leverage that they have to ensure that there's a political solution and an economic solution to the Zimbabwean crisis. Where have you asked? Um, I want to wish you a very fantastic Christmas yes. celebration and a most memorable New Year. And I want to say that when we do come back, this is going to be the last parachute program of 2008, like we said before. But I want to say that when we do come back on air in January, we will still be on Ben Television Channel 104. That's where we are now, and that's where we continue to celebrate you and celebrate who you are.